Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is three types of armored virus infection: a painter virus infection, split virus infection, and a Swiss cheese virus infection. What is a virus? A virus is malicious executable code attached to another executable file host. A virus cannot automatically spread to another computer. It relies on a user's action to spread. Thus, a virus must have two carriers: a file to which it attaches, a host. And a user to transport it to other computers. What a virus can do: a virus will be triggered when the host program runs, and viruses can do many damages, like crashing computers, reformatting hard drives, deleting files, turning off computer security settings, and so on. Armored viruses are those that go to great lengths to avoid detection. There are three types of armored virus infection: a pender infection, split infection, and a Swiss cheese infection. A pender virus infection is one common type of armored. Virus infection, and this type of virus infection is very simple in terms of structure. A pender virus replaces the beginning of the file with the jump instructions pointing to the virus code. A pender virus appends itself to the end of a file. That's why it's called a pender. Once the program starts. It jumps to the virus code. Split infection. Viruses split the malicious code itself into several parts. The virus has also jumped instruction at the beginning of the program. All parts of virus code are placed at random positions throughout the program code. The virus also has one main body code. The virus may have a garbage code to hide its purpose. The virus code is reassembled to start the infection. Swiss cheese virus includes two parts: encrypted virus code and a decrypted code. Decrypted code is divided into different pieces and hidden in different places throughout the infected program. When the program starts, the decrypted code pieces are tied together to start the encrypted virus code. The upper part contains the infected program; the lower part contains the encrypted virus code. Here is how it works. Once the program starts, it triggers the virus jump instruction. The jump instruction points to the decrypt part one. Part one points to the decrypt part two. Part two points to part three, and part three points to the part four. All these decrypt parts have reassembled together to open and start encrypted virus. Armored viruses share some common features. Malicious code resides in different parts of the infected program host. They may include some garbage or confusing code to hide the virus, and they may encrypt virus code. Thus, bad news is difficult to detect and remove them, but at the same time, good news. 
They are bunky, so bunky that can be detected more easily. I hope this video is useful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Thank <music> you.